in this problem, we're given an IR spectrum, and then we're also given a few different structures. So we have different functional groups, and the first thing I want to look at is, well, we have an IRI spectrum that's greater than 3,000. So you'll notice between about 3,300 and 3,100, we have these two peaks. Often we'll see this for nitrogen-hydrogen bonding, so NH2. So each stretch here is one nitrogen hydrogen bond so we have nh2 so right away we can eliminate these two options so now we need to look at what is the difference between these two so here we're going to have carbon carbon double bonding and we're going to have sp2 carbon hydrogen bonding whereas over here we're going to have a carbonyl and only sp3 carbon hydrogen bonding so if we look around 1700 we see this nice strong absorption so that indicates a carbonyl so this here is going to be our structure and you'll also notice that other than our nitrogen hydrogen stretches we don't have anything else greater than 3000 which supports the fact that we only have sp3 carbon hydrogen bonding and we don't see any carbon carbon bonding either so that supports this as our answer so that's structure b